Hello, Mighty Companion. This is Earl Raj Purdy, and I'm going to bring you Lesson 78 in A Course in Miracles. And that lesson is, let miracles replace all grievances. Let miracles replace all grievances. Let miracles replace all grievances. Perhaps it's not yet clear to you that each decision that you make is a decision between a grievance and a miracle. Each grievance stands like a dark shield of hate before the miracle the grievance would conceal. And as you raise the grievance up before your eyes, you would not see the miracle beyond. Yet all the while the miracle waits for you in light and truth, but you behold your grievances instead. Today we will go beyond the grievances to look upon the miracle instead. We will reverse the way you see by not allowing sight to stop before it sees. We will not wait before the shield of hate, but lay the shield of hate down and gently lift our eyes in silence to behold the child of God. The child of God waits for you beyond and behind your grievances. And as you lay your grievances down, the Holy Son of God, the child of God, will appear in shining light where each grievance stood before. For each grievance is a block to sight. And as the grievance lifts, you will see the child of God. While the child of God, you will see the child of God where the child of God has always been. The child of God stands in light, but you were in the dark in fear. Each grievance made the darkness and fear deeper, and you could not see. Today we will attempt to see God's child. We will not let ourselves be blind to the child of God. We will not look upon our grievances. So is the seeing of the world reversed as we look out toward truth away from fear. We will select one person you have used as target for your grievances and lay the grievances aside and look at them. Someone perhaps you fear and even hate. Someone you think you love who angered you. Someone you call a friend, but whom you see as difficult at times or hard to please. Demanding, irritating, and untrue to the ideal that they should accept as theirs according to the role you set for them. You know the one to choose. Their name has crossed your mind already. This person will be the one of whom we ask God's child be shown to you. Through seeing God's child behind the grievances that you have held against them, you will learn that what lay hidden while you didn't see them is in, is in everyone to see and can be seen. This child of God who was enemy is more than friend when this child of God is free to take the holy healing role the Holy Spirit has assigned to this child of God. Let this person be Savior unto you today. Savior, such is their role in God, your Creator's plan. Our longer practice periods today will see them in the role of Savior. You will attempt to hold this person in your mind. First, as you now consider this person, you will review this person's faults, the difficulties you have had with this person, the pain this person caused you, their neglect, and all the little and larger hurts the person gave. You will regard this person's body with its flaws and better points as well. And you will think of this person's mistakes and even of this person's so-called sins. Then let us ask of the Holy Spirit who knows this child of God in their reality and truth 
that we may look on this person in a different way and see our Savior shining in the light of true forgiveness given unto us. We ask the Holy Spirit in the holy name of God and of God's creation as holy as God let me behold my Savior in this one, in this one. You have appointed as the one for me to ask to lead me to the holy light in which they stand, that I may join with them. Let me behold my Savior in this person you have appointed as the person for me to ask to lead me to the holy healing light in which they stand so that I may join with them. The body's eyes are closed, and as you think of this person who grieved you, let your mind be shown the light and love and truth in this person beyond your grievances. What you have asked for cannot be denied. Your Savior has been waiting long for this. This person would be free and make their freedom yours. The Holy Spirit, the voice for God, leans from that person to you, seeing no separation in God's Son, which is God's creation. And what you see through the Holy Spirit will free you both. Be very quiet now, be very quiet now, and look upon your shining Savior. No dark, fearful grievances can obscure the sight of this person who is your Savior. You have allowed the Holy Spirit to express through this person the role God gave this person that you might be saved. God thanks you, your Creator thanks you for these quiet times today in which you laid your images aside and looked upon the miracle of love the Holy Spirit showed you in the place of the grievances. The world and heaven join in thanking you for not one thought of God, but must rejoice as you are saved and all the world with you. We will remember this throughout the day and take the role assigned to us as part of God's healing salvation plan <clears throat> and not our own. <clears throat> and not our own. Temptation falls away when we allow each one we meet to save us and refuse to hide their lights behind our grievances. To everyone you meet and the ones you think of or remember from the past, allow the role of Savior to be given, that you may share the role of Savior with them, for you both and all the sightless ones as well. We pray, we pray, let miracles replace all grievances. 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 Well, mighty companions, forward these videos to other people that you feel might appreciate them. And check out my website, www.earlperdy.com. I have over 300 classes online. And so let peace extend. I say let peace extend from my mind and my heart to yours.